Hi guys, welcome to Paul's Cooking Adventures. Today, we're going to be making a lobster thermidor. Let's get cooking. The Eastern Australian rock lobster, an absolutely fantastic specimen. It goes all the way from Tweed Heads all the way around to South Australia. Um, this is definitely the best product of lobster in Australia. It is an absolutely amazing specimen. This one weighing in at around 1.2, 1.3 kilo is a perfect size for eating. They do grow much, much bigger than this, but this is the perfect size for eating. This is not something we eat every day in Australia. This is expensive. You're looking at still $100 a kilo, even during these cheap times during COVID, uh, where we're not exporting as much overseas. Can't wait to taste this little beauty. Let's get cooking. Getting ready to cook this one. We've got a leek here. Just going to roughly chop. We're just making a basic mirepoix for our liquid. So we've got some leek. We've got some celery. Got a carrot. An onion. and some parsley. We're just gonna place this in our large pot on the stove. In with a little bit of vinegar. Hi guys, it's time to start cooking our lobster. The lobster has been put in the freezer for half an hour. Um, you can see it's very limp and light and not very alive, but uh, we wanna make sure that we kill this as humanely as possible. We're going to put it into our boiling water, but we just wanna be careful how we do this. If we put it in head first, um, if the lobster has any reaction and does a big flip, it can flip out and then get you with boiling water. So what we wanna do is we're going to put it in tail first this way, so if it flips, it's just gonna flip back into the pot. Here we go. and we can let it cook away. Our lobster's been on now for 10 minutes. We can just take this one out. Lovely, beautiful thing. Ready to cook, it smells beautiful in this aromatic liquid that we've made. Um, the name for that's a cork bullion for all the chefies out there. We can cool this one down slightly under our tap. We're just gonna cut our lobster in half now. Um, I'm going to cut it straight down from the head down. Um, this is the easiest way. Make an incision. Put some pressure down on your knife. And push down. What we can do then is just follow our knife back down on our tail. Beauty. We can now make sure that we remove the uh, poo tube. And then we're just going to release all the meat from the shell. We can just clean this part out. We can now grab our lobster meat out. We're just going to cut this in even pieces, the same as our little lines here. Just lovely chunks. Just keep them in their little medallions. On a stove, we just add our butter. We're just gonna make a standard roux for this cream sauce. Just equal quantities, butter and flour. Just 
You just want to cook this out to take away the rawness of the flour. Just make sure to move it all the time, otherwise you don't want to catch on the bottom. You can see the whiteness of it start to coming around, that's the flour cooking out. And we're just getting that lovely whiteness to it now, which is the flour has been cooked out enough and we can start to add in our milk. We can now start to add in our milk. We keep on adding a little bit at a time. And we just want to cook it out to a nice velvety consistency. This is the stage now. We go in with some uh, Dijon mustard. Um, traditionally, this is served with uh, English mustard, but I don't want to make it as spicy as that. So we'll go one, one and a half teaspoons of the Dijon mustard. We go in with a lovely bit of uh, mozzarella cheese and then our Reggio Pandana Parmesan cheese. It's totally up to yourself. If you like a Gruyere or something like that in, in that, it's completely fine. It's just personal. But you just want to make sure there is a lovely amount of cheese in this sauce. Now with the heat of the sauce, this will be enough to melt the cheese down. Go in with a lovely sprinkle of sea salt, and then we're going to go in with some thick cream. If it starts to cool too much, you can actually put it back on the heat and warm it up. And we can see now the lovely stringiness with the mozzarella in there. It's a lovely consistency, nice and smooth and beautiful. What we can do now is we can add in our lobster. And we mix through. What we want to do with our lobster, because we've got a bit of a lean on it here, we just want to even up our shells to the same height. We can now grab our spoon and what we're going to do is place our lobster back in the shell. We're then going to go with an extra amount of parmesan over the top. And this one can go under the grill. And there we have it guys, our lobster thermidor. This is definitely a yummy dish, but definitely for a special occasion. See you next time. Thanks for everyone for subscribing and following me on my journey. Looking forward to the next recipe.